feeling like the bigger person. I'm the bigger person. I'm a boss. Drake, I'm going to give you an opportunity to apologize. First and foremost, you got to admit, confess you got your nose, your nose reduction. And confess you got a BBL. And I understand. I know what it's like having those flaps on your stomach and that sweat being under there. You ain't want to do that. You wanted to just a gym, nigga. You, you drizzy. You BBL, nigga. You could go get it done. And you did it. Just confess. Confess. I know you're not going to respond. And this pace is boring me. It's moving too slow. When I came in the game, you had to move fast. Drop a freestyle. Freestyle Fridays. Now the social media. I can't do it. You got your minions. What's the other white boy name? 1090. He looked like a wet little whale flapping. Shut up. Get mind your business, peon. Man, apologize. White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you post that you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watch that man struggle them five years and then get that man a mansion. Because if you got more money than Rose, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy. If you got Ricky Rose money, ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours. The countdown has begun. And that old that you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old God is great. Hey, no, this is really funny because I'm going to tell you, I was like battling against nerds. is like sitting in a class and you watching all the nerds put together their best science project to present to the class. Man, y'all can have that. Nigga, your nose fake, your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Your biggest homies in foreclosure. Come on, man. Go buy all them niggas that's living with each other a big mansion and put... The, the, the BBL Drizzy logo on the gates. Man, feed them niggas, man. Come on, man. Do that sh And y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old plane. It's a 1978 the cargo jet. People gave it to him free for promo. And I ain't hating, but be safe, my nigga. If something was to happen to you and I couldn't tell you this, be safe. And anybody getting on it, be safe, man. Wear your seat belts and the, make sure the oxygen thing's in there because that just for luggage. It wasn't for human beings. What? This is a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of nigga white boy he is. Soon as that pressure on white boy, he gonna go post stun him, stun in that twenty dollar jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper and make him say, "I got your back." He don't wanna say that to that mark. Nigga ain't got that mark back. That mark ain't fed him none. But since you done watched him struggle and gave him, nigga, show the world you go buy him posting when you go buy him a mother. $40 million mansion, white boy. Huh? Huh? Soon as Rose on you, you call your mama, then I'm going to post Birdman and kiss him on TV. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, that's what white boys do. Show your real niggas when you go buy them that big mansion. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you post a nigga when you need. It's an old saying that grandma, grandma, mama, and daddy taught you when you was a child. Blood is thicker than water and you don't have no friends. You was born by yourself and you will die by yourself. What well, we see with the Drake, Kendrick Lamar, ASAP Rocky, and Rick Ross situation, even Birdman, is individuals who once call each other friends. However, People only befriend you when it's a beneficial gain to them. You see, Kendrick Lamar, ASAP Rocky, Rick Ross, Future, and many others didn't have the fan base, nor the popularity, nor the money that they had prior to Drake introducing the world to them. You see, Drake audience was a crossover audience from the beginning. You see, Wayne was the biggest artist at that time in the world. And he co-signed Drake. And anybody who that Young Money Cash Money imprint co-signed was definitely going to get the bag. But 
friends turn enemies. This is why you must be careful who you allow yourself to align with. You see, at the end of the day, many people will align themselves with you when it's beneficial to them. And when you're no longer beneficial, the true colors come out. Now, I'm not saying that Drake haven't done anything sour or foul. I'm just saying that all these issues among these guys could have been resolved without the public interest if they was truly friends. Birdman basically gave Rick Ross the game, gave Rick Ross the industry. Now, one could say, with everything going on with Diddy, maybe Rick Ross is keeping this going because it removes Diddy out of the spotlight, out of the hip-hop public eye. I don't know, but at the end of the day, friends turn enemies. That's what the streets do. And they say the hip-hop game has became the streets. Salute.